almost there. You gotta get through this last tank level. Right now we're on the road to Bowser's Castle. power and I just lost it. Alright, here we go. To fight good old Boom Boom for the last time. Oh, it's been fun, Boom Boom, but it's time for you to die for good. Here we go. Bowser's Castle. It's about time. Whoa. Watch out for the lasers. And I fell for that when I was a kid, I, as I'm sure a lot of people did. They got killed right there or, or hit by that uh, Bowser statue laser. Let's see if I can remember the order of where to go in this castle. To be honest with you, I think the uh, the last mini castle that I just beat is much harder than this castle. All right, thanks, your man. Ah, ah jump, you idiot! scary picture of Bowser back there. Uh, watch out for the thromps. Hurry up, go down, go down. All right. <laughs> and I thought those statues would shoot at you too, but nope. Careful now! Oh, oh. There we go. Here we go. The final battle. Finally. And I had a dream when I was a kid that I was fighting Bowser in real life. And I had the Mario raccoon tail and I was trying to hit the bricks next to him to make him fall down and I was failing. And right here you gotta make Bowser beat himself. I mean if you have the fireball I think you still shoot the fireball at him and eventually kill him but uh, I'm not sure but oh, well, make sure to not let him jump on top of you. You gotta make him fall through the ground if you don't have the fireball. And again, I don't know if you can beat him with the fireball. I think you can. I, I, I don't think I've ever done that. Watch out. You know, if you had the fireball, you could have fought. You could have fought fire with fire right there. Foyer with foyer. 
And finally, Bowser's defeated. And I finally beat this game. It was a long playthrough. There we go. Now I officially beat it. first read this when I beat this game I was thinking what are you kidding me oh okay ha ha and a great ending I know they could have done more with the actual ending but I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't care. I was so happy I beat this great game. And the ending music, and when they show the levels again, I thought it was pretty cool. And Desert Hill, I thought it was Desert Land. Seaside, I thought it was Waterland. You know, why does Mario All Stars, why are they changing the names? I mean, in Mario 2, they're changing the names of some of the characters, and they changed the name of the world in Mario 3. Like, what's the deal? Big Island. The, oh, the sky. Yeah, that's original. But overall, <laughs> a great game nonetheless. That level, that world was cold. Pipe maze. Castle of Koopa. I thought it was Dark Land. Anyway. move on to the next game nope not yet the lost levels and this game is freaking hard I've beaten it when I was a kid and I've beaten it without warping but I'm just letting you know I am not going to uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp if I can, if I remember all the warp points and try to beat this game as fast as possible. I'm not going to play all the way through it. But at the same time, don't get your hopes up because I might not be able to beat this game. That's how hard this game is to me. So here we go. And again, this is the Japanese version of Mario 2. Here what Skip Rogers says, don't grab that. Ah, oh, see, I'm, I'm down already. <laughs> this is these awkward Mario 1 controls. I'm used to the Mario 3 controls, been playing that game so much. Ah, oh, here we go. Idiot! Stop! Slow down! Oh, whoa! Oh, man. First level in this game. <laughs> hmm. 
Not yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was freaking close. Major gorillas are back. And here's the first warp zone up here. Ah. Dang, I missed the first warp zone. Ah, oh, well, forget it. I think there was a warp zone over there. Should be. Anyway, 